students welcome to 10th class online classes in today's video we are going to start the next topic of our chapter 7 that is coordinate geometry and the topic is section formula so let's start now the, in the topic section formula suppose we have a line joining two points okay the points are x1 y1 and x2 y2 and there is a line joining these two now suppose there is a third point dividing this line into two parts. Suppose the point is here and the coordinates of this point are taken as x, y. Okay, the first one is x1, y1, the last one is x2, y2 and the point which divides the line is taken as x, y. Now the x, y point divides the line in some ratio. So the ratio is taken as m is to l. Now in this formula we have four things. The first one is the point x1, y1 which is joined to the point x2, y2 through a line. And there is a third point x, y which divides the line in the ratio m is to l. So the section formula is the formula to find the coordinate of these points. Okay. It is to find the coordinate of the point which divides the line and the formula is this. Okay, now the method of learning this formula or you can say memorizing this formula is that M will be multiplied with these coordinates and N will be multiplied with these coordinates. Okay, so M will be multiplied with X2, N will be multiplied with X1. Similarly, M will be multiplied by X by 2 and N will be multiplied with Y1. And here we got the formula. The formula for X and Y are two separate formulas. X is equals to M into X2 plus N into X1 divided by M plus N. Similarly for Y, I will have M into Y2 plus N into Y1 divided by M plus N. And this is my section formula. And in this exercise, we will have question in which three things will be given to us and we need to find the fourth thing. Okay? Every question does not ask for the value of x, y. Sometimes x, y will be given and you need to find the ratio. Or sometimes these three things will be given and you need to find the first one. There are certain types of questions which can be asked in this exercise. The first one is finding the coordinates of the point and the point here it says point of division. Okay, finding the coordinates of point of division. So this is the very simplest question and the very direct question in this exercise. Now let's take an example. Find the point which divides the join of minus 1, 7, 4, minus 3 in the ratio 2 is to 3. Now always try to understand what the question is saying. Find the point which divides the join of. That means that these two points are joined by a line and there is a third point which divides that line in the ratio 2 is to 3. So first of all we will make the diagram of this question. This is my point minus 1, 7. This is my point 4, minus 3. And we will join these two points. And this is the join of these two points. Now there is a third point which divides the line in the ratio 2 is to 3. And I need to find the coordinates of point of division. That is the points x and y. You can see that the ratio is given to us, so it is obvious that this is the question of section formula. So the formula is x equals to m x2 plus n x1 upon m plus n. Okay, so first of all I will calculate the value of x. Now what is my m? m is this, the first one, that is 2 and m is multiplied by these four digits. That is on the opposite side. So, here x2 is the 4 plus 
n is my this number that is 3 and n is multiplied with the first coordinate. So it will be minus 1 and that is 2 plus 3. So it will be 8 minus 3 upon 5 that is 5 upon 5 which is equal to 1. So I got the value of x. Similarly, I will find the value of y. Formula of y is m by 2 plus n by 1 upon m plus n. That is the formula looks exactly same but just the change is x2, x1 and y2, y1. So m is my 2. Now y2 is this number. That is my minus 3 plus n is my 3. y1 is this number. 7 and 2 plus 3. Now it will be my minus 6 plus 21 upon 5. That is 15 upon 5 which is equal to 3. Now the answer is not complete here. Since the question asks for the point, so you need to write the answer in the form of coordinates. So the point is, or you can say point of division is, first the value of x that is 1. And then the value of y that is 3. So this will be my complete answer. Now coming to the second type of question which I asked in this exercise that is finding the ratio. Now this question is some tricky question. Let's take an example. Find the ratio in which line segment joining these points is divided by this. First of all, we will make the diagram. Okay? Line segment joining these two points. That is, these are my end points. Okay? So, this is my minus 3, 10. And this is my 6 minus 8. It is divided by this point. So, there is a third point here. That is minus 1, 6 which divides this line. And we need to find the ratio. Now, whenever the question asks for the ratio, okay, so it's easier if you take the ratio as k is to 1. Okay, if you take the ratio as m is to n, the question becomes very lengthy and it becomes complicated also. So, instead of taking m is to n, we will take k is to 1 to solve these questions. Okay, now we will apply the same formula that is m into x2 plus n into x1 upon m plus n. Okay, now here the value of m is k, x2 is my this point that is 6 plus n is my 1, x1 is minus 3 and upon K plus 1. Now in this question we are given the value of x. So I can put that value also. So I will put it here. Now I will simplify it. 6k minus 3 upon k plus 1. I can cross multiply it. I will get minus k plus 1 6k minus 3. I will multiply this minus to both the terms. So minus k minus 1. Okay. Always remember to multiply this to the both terms. Then it will be my 6k minus 3. I will take the terms with k on one side and the constant term on the other side. So it will be minus 1. 3 will come as plus 3. This is 6k. Minus k will go and becomes plus 3. So it will be 7 and this will be 2. So I got the value of k as 2 upon 7. Okay. Now the ratio is k is to 1. So the value of k is 2 upon 7 is to 1. So it will become, I can write this 2 by 7 is to 1 as 2 is to 7. And now you can see in this question that we don't need to find the value by applying the formula of y. 
because even if I apply that formula, I will get my answer as this one. So this in this method, when we take ratio k is to one, the question becomes very small. Okay, the answer is very small, and the equations are very easy also. Now let's do some important coordinate geometry rules. These are the rules which you need to remember while doing the questions in this chapter because many questions will ask these type of things to you. Now suppose in any question it is written that a point on x axis. Okay? Or it says point on y axis. Now whenever you we a line like this, it means that we have a point which is on x axis. Okay, if I make the coordinate geometry graph, okay, a point on x axis will be a point on this axis. This is my x axis, and this is my y axis. Right, a point on x axis is a point here, and a point here has the coordinate of the form x0. Because you can see that on this line, value of y is 0. Because all the values are of x only. So the value of y will be 0. So that means in the question whenever you have a point on x axis, you will take the coordinate automatically as x comma z. Now similarly, if I have a point on y axis, that means I have a point here or here or here or anywhere but that is on the y axis. So that means the value of x is 0. I surely don't know the value of y of that point but I know the value of x that will be 0. So the point will always be 0 but there are many questions in this exercise that are based on this thing. Two points will be given to you and the third point will be given in this form. In the form of a statement that a point on x axis. The point lies on the y axis. So it is obvious that you have to take the point like this. Now let's take an example of important rule of coordinate geometry. Now in this question it is said that find the ratio in which line joining these two points is divided by x axis. So you can see that they say divided by x axis. That means that there is a point of x axis that divides a line joining these two points. Okay, I have a line 1 minus 5 and minus 4 and 5 and there is a point on x axis which divides this line and the point on x axis means the point has the coordinate x 0 so you need to find the ratio the procedure of finding the ratio is same that you need to take the ratio as k is to 1 but in this question you can see that we have the division point as x 0. So if I don't know the value of x, how will I find my x? Suppose I am applying the formula of x. Okay. Now x is mx2 plus nx1 upon m plus m. It will be minus 4k plus 1 upon k plus 1 equals to x. Okay. I don't know the value of x. So how will I find my k if I don't know the value of x? This x and these k, there are two variables and how will I solve an e equation with two variables? But in this question, I have the value of y. I know the value of y. So instead of applying the formula for x, I will apply the formula for y. Similarly, if in this question they said, that divided by y axis, then this point will be 0, y. And in that case, I will apply the formula for x because I know the value of x only. I don't know the value of y, so I cannot apply its formula. So here also, I will apply the formula for y. Okay, so the formula of y is m by 2 plus n by 1 upon 
n plus n. Pi is my 0. This is my k into 5 plus 1 into minus 5 upon k plus 1. I can cross multiply it. If I take k plus 1 into 0, my answer will be 0. So this will become 5k minus 5. So 5k will be equals to 5. So k will be equals to 1. So my ratio will be k is to 1. That is 1 is to 1. Okay. Now you can see that in this question I had x0. I didn't know the value of x so I applied the formula for 1. If in this question I had y x is here, I will have 0 y as my point and I will apply the formula for x. Not y because I don't know the value of y so I will get an equation and I cannot find the value of k from that equation. Now sometimes in this exercise the questions will be asked in this form. Find the point of trisection of the line joining these two points. Okay, now suppose there is a line whose endpoints are always taken as x1, y1 and x2, y1. Okay, in this chapter, every line with two endpoints will have these two points only. x1, y1, x2, y1. Now it says that find the point of trisection. What is point of trisection? Trisection means dividing the line into three equal parts. Okay, so I will divide this line into three equal parts. That is, I will take a point here and here. Now I can see that if this is my A, B, C, D. In this question, I have drawn three points of intersection. That is AB is equals to BC is equals to CB. These three parts are equal to each other. Now I need to find the points of trisection and I need the ratio for it. Because in this question the ratio is never given to us. We will find the ratio by ourselves. And finding the ratio is a very easy part in this question. Now take the point P. Okay. Now count the parts of this line before B. There is one part and after B there are two parts, right? Before B there is AB, that is one part. After B there are two parts, BC and C. So for B my ratio will be 1 is to 2. Okay, before it was one part and after there were two parts, so it is 1 is to 2. Now similarly for C, there are two parts before C and one part after C. So the ratio will be 2 is to 1. Okay. So while applying the section formula, we will take this ratio for point P and this ratio for point C. But the endpoints x1, y1, x2, y2 will be same. That is when I find the point P, I will just hide this point C. And apply the section formula for A, this ratio and B. When I find C point, I will hide the point B and apply the formula for these three points. Now similarly, if it says find the points which divides the line into four equal parts. Okay, so in four equal parts, suppose I have line A, B. This is my x1, y1. And this is my point B, X2, Y. Okay. Now 4 equal part means I will have 3 points in this C, B, E. I can take any name of these points. Now I need to find 3 points in this question. So the section formula will be applied 3 times for every point you need to find. And now main thing is finding the correct ratio and the procedure is same. For C there is one part before it and one, two, three parts after it. So ratio will be one is to three. Then for D there are two parts before it and two parts after it. So it will be two is to two. And for the point E 
there are three parts before T and one part after. So this will be 3 goes to 1. And after that, the question is same as the type 1. You need to find these points by directly applying the section formula. But then for point C, we will take this ratio. For point B, we will take this ratio. And for point D, we will take this ratio. Now coming to the special case of section formula. There are two special cases of section formula. The first one is midpoint formula. Now first of all, what do you mean by midpoint? Now suppose I have a line which is a join of two points x1, y1 and x2, y1. Now midpoint is that point which lies in the exact middle of that line. That is, it divides the line into two equal parts. Okay, so in that question, my ratio will be 1 is to 1. How? In the previous topic, I told you about how to find the ratio when you have 3 equal parts or 4 equal parts. With the same pattern, I can find the ratio when I have 2 equal parts. That is, there is one part before it and one part after it. So the ratio will be 1 is to 1. Okay, so whenever there is a question of bisection or midpoint, you will apply ratio as 1 is to 1. Now, instead of applying the whole section formula and calculating everything, there is a midpoint formula which is derived from this formula. How? I will just put the values of M and S 1. That is 1 into x2 plus 1 into x1 upon 1 plus 1. Similarly, 1 into y2 plus 1 into y1 upon 1 plus 1. I have done nothing, just put the value of m in m as 1. Now, this will be my x2 plus x1 upon 2. Similarly, y2 plus y1 upon 2. Now these coordinates, that is these formulas, that is x equals to this and y equals to this, this is my midpoint formula. So whenever you have a question, it says bisection points or you can ask midpoint of a line, then you can directly apply this formula. But in case you don't remember this formula, you can also apply the section formula. Okay, but if you know this formula, the calculation will be very small and it will take less time. Now, let's take an example based on midpoint formula. Find the coordinates of A where AB is a diameter of circle whose center is this and B is this. Now, first of all, in this question, we are given that there is a circle. Okay, and the circle has a dam. The name is A, B, and the coordinates of B is 1, 4. Okay, and I don't know the co coordinates of A. That is what we are asked to find. Find coordinates of A. So, A I will take as X1, Y1. Now it says the center is, obviously the center will lie on this diameter and the center is something O I can take and that is 2 minus 3 and I need to find x1 and y1. Now what is the ratio in this question? Think about it very clearly. Okay, this is a diameter. So AO and OB will be radius, right? The diameter and the line joining center to the one point, it will be my radius. And AO is radius, OB is radius and radius are always equal. So that means that this O is the midpoint of this line. Okay, this O divides the line AB in two equal parts. So my ratio is 1 is to 1. Okay, now it's up to you. You can apply section formula also. My answer will be same. But I know that this is the question in which there are two equal parts. So I can directly apply midpoint formula also. So 
So my midpoint formula is okay. So by midpoint formula, x is equal to x one plus x two upon two. Okay, we will have to do less calculations here. Now I know the value of x because the middle point is always x and y. So x is my two. X one I need to find and x two is my one. Okay, so cross multiplying it, four equals to x one plus one. So x one will be my three. Now similarly, y is equals to y one plus y two upon two. Y is my minus three. Okay, minus three equals to y one. Plus four upon two. Again, cross multiplying it, minus six equals to y one plus four. I will take four on this side. Minus six minus four equals to y one. So y one will be minus ten. And at the end, I will write the answer in the form of coordinates. So my point A is equal to three minus. Ten. First, the value of x one, and then the value of y one. So I can directly apply the midpoint formula, and I can also apply the section formula. Still, my answers will be same. Now, coming to the second special case of section formula, that is the centroid of a triangle. Now, first of all, what is a centroid? Now, suppose I have a triangle ABC. Okay, this is my triangle ABC, and I know that the triangles have median. What is median? Median is a line from any vertex of the triangle and dividing the opposite side into two equal parts. Suppose from A point, okay, from point A, I have drawn this median AB, and the opposite side to the A, that is BC, is divided into two equal. Parts. Okay, so AD is a median. Similarly, if I have three vertex of a triangle, so I will have three median also. So this BF is also a median in which AF is equal to FC, and CE is also median in which this is equal to this. Okay, this is the definition of median. Now, what is centroid? Centroid is the point of Intersection of three medians. That is, I can see that these three medians meet at this point. Right? This is the point of intersection of these three lines. This point O is my centroid of a triangle. Okay. Now I need to find the formula how to find the centroid of a triangle. So suppose first of all that the triangles have the coordinates x one y one, x two y two, and x three y two. Since in a triangle there are three points, so I will have another coordinate x three y three also. Now let's take this D. Can I find the coordinates of this point D? Of course, since it is a median, and BD is equal to DC, and BD equals to DC means that D is the midpoint of this. Okay, D is midpoint of DC. Right. So I can apply midpoint formula. Now suppose D has the coordinates x and y. So my x will be X two plus X three divided by two. Similarly, my Y will be Y two plus Y three divided by two. How by midpoint formula? I, I can apply midpoint formula here. So by that, I got the value of coordinates of point D. This is my point D. Okay. Now I need to find this O. Look at the line AD. This is my line AD. 
first of all i took bc p was my midpoint and i applied the midpoint formula now i'm taking a d a is my x1 y1 d is my x2 plus x3 upon d y2 plus y3 upon Right, this is the point which I just found by midpoint form. Now, this is a point O on this line A. Now, this point O that is centroid has a property that it divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1. This is the thing you need to remember that centroid always divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1. So this is my 2 ratio 1. So I can apply section formula to find the coordinates of O. Okay, so O will be calculated as for X. Okay, now this is my X and Y. First of all, this was my X and Y. Now for this line, these are my X and Y. So X will be 2 into this. Plus 1 into x1 upon 2 plus 1. Right? I can cancel this 2 and 2. Now what am I left with? I am left with x1 plus x2 plus x3 upon 3. Right? 1 into x1, x1. This is x2 plus x3. Then 2 plus 1 is 3. Now similarly y will be 2 into y2 plus y3 upon 2 plus 1 into y1 upon 2 plus 1. So this 2 will be cancelled by this 2. Again I will get y1 plus y2 plus y3 upon 3. Now the formula I got for the center of triangle is this one. So you can see that the formulas are very easy in the spatial phase. For the midpoint, it was just adding the coordinates because there were two coordinates, so I divided it by 2, right? That was x2 plus x3 divided by 2. Now in the center, I have three coordinates, so I added them and divided by 3. So this is how the spatial cases are formed. So let's take an example of center of triangle. In this question, the three vertices of triangle are given and we need to find the center. So the formula is very simple. x1 plus x2 plus x3 upon 3. So if I take x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3, it will be 5 plus 4 plus 7 divided by 3. This will be my 9 plus 7 upon 3, that is 16 upon 3. Similarly, y is my y1 plus y2 plus y3 upon 3. That is 2 plus 7 plus minus 4 divided by 3. So what will be answer since it is negative? So it will be subtracted from it. That is 5 upon 3. So my centroid is 16 upon 3, 5 upon 3. Okay, so in this video we learned about the section formula and all the concepts related to it. With this we have completed this chapter. That is coordinate geometry. I hope you understand today's video. Keep practicing and thanks.